Welcome to another tutorial here on the Foxtech YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to get a home button on your iPad screen. This feature known as assistive touch is incredibly useful, especially if your physical home button is broken or if you prefer using a virtual one. Let's go through the steps to enable and customize this feature to suit your needs. First, let's talk about enabling assistive touch. The so-called home button is actually an accessibility feature designed to provide a virtual button on your screen. This floating button can mimic the functions of the regular home button, but it can also be customized to do much more. To get started, go to your iPad's settings. From there, navigate to accessibility. Under the accessibility menu, you'll find the assistive touch option. Tap on it and toggle the switch to enable assistive touch. Once enabled, you'll notice a small round floating button appear on your screen. This is your new virtual home button. It's quite versatile and can be moved around to any convenient spot on your screen. By default, this button will offer a menu of various functions, but you can customize it to perform specific actions based on your preferences. To make the virtual button act solely as the home button, you can customize its top level menu. Go back to the assistive touch settings and tap on customize top level menu. Here, you'll see various icons representing different functions. You can remove these icons by tapping on the minus sign. Leave only one icon and set it to home. This way, whenever you tap the virtual button, it will function just like the physical home button, taking you back to the home screen. But that's not all. The virtual home button can be customized for other useful tasks as well. You can set it up to perform actions like activating Siri, opening the control center, or even taking screenshots. To do this, go back to the customized top level menu and add any additional functions you find helpful. This customization makes the assistive touch feature incredibly versatile. Using the virtual home button is straightforward. You can single tap it to return to the home screen, double tap for multitasking, or press and hold it to activate Siri. If you wanna access the control center or notification center, you can customize these actions within the assistive touch settings as well. Assistive touch is particularly beneficial if your physical home button is malfunctioning, or if you simply prefer the convenience of a virtual button. It ensures that you can continue using your iPad efficiently without relying on the physical button. Plus, it adds a layer of customization that can make your iPad experience more tailored to your needs. Thank you for watching this video on Foxtech. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more tech tips and tutorials. Your support helps us create more valuable content for you. Peace.